Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. And welcome back and we switch up now to actually see what we can prepare for Mother's Day and I'm in Grace's kitchen and I'm with Chef Duane, Chef morning. Etienne morning, morning. and Chef Ainsley. Hi. I guess I'll be Chef William too. Yes. <laughs> the boys have it. All right. The Good morning gentlemen it. and welcome to the show. All right. Good morning and, guys. And of course we're focusing on some things that we can do but of course when if your mom is a coffee drinker or not yeah we could probably wake them up with something good on Sunday right? Sunday and that's what I'm about to do actually. So since we're coming up to Mother's Day, it's a Mother's Day frozen drink made with our Eldorado Spice Rum from Grace, uh, Eldorado Rum Cream, and our coffee is here from Grace. We have a variety. This one I'm going to use this morning. Which one is that? Vanilla. Oh, the vanilla. Yeah, they have a variety of different coffees there which is real good, you know, and they make them small, so you could take them in your bag. I actually see girls coming in the in the cafe and say, you have this one, right? Yes, sir, yes, we're at Grace, we're at Grace. Okay. All right. So, what do we need first to start? Okay. Um, first off, let's blend this on. We'll, two ounces mm -hmm. of the rum cream. No, this is a heavy rum cream. Okay. This is my favorite. I go straight to the coffee with that and done. Because the blender takes too long for me. So. <laughs> and what happened? Right, it goes straight in a carafe of coffee. And that's it. Two it's ounces, all set. Two ounces rum. Two ounces of rum. Yep. Yeah, speaking, do you need. It has to be frozen or it could just go. No, you could do frozen. Hot. Shaken, stirred. So, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this so morning you, I just chose frozen. Frozen? Okay, good. So you could just make Coffee. this by a pitcher and just lift it all day. Oh, you have to peel, my, peel mommy off of the wall by 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two teaspoons coffee. Mm -hmm. Straight? Yeah. Okay. Get a little. No, for me, I'll add two of this and two of the amaretto or infuse all the coffees to <laughs> like ah. going there, you understand? That's what I like about this. It's small, right? And it has a, there's a Our four different kinds. evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. Put it in there. And condense. Condense. Sweeten it up a bit. The grace condense. There's different kinds. There's a full cream, right? There's another lighter one, okay? The full cream is the way to go. You know, you, you're gonna do a lot of baking this weekend, uh, milk cake, go get your Grace uh, products and the, the and the evaporated milk. Ice. Okay, some ice. Mm. Okay. Put a little more. So I like this. You measure the rum, but everything else is it's free pour. Free. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the free pour will come after, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, blending time. Smooth. All right. Freaking so this glass. is that's a real tall glass. Mm -hmm. Chocolate syrup. That's when you just go and send mom. Don't get up today. You don't, don't have get to up worry today. about anything today. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess after you drink one picture of this, you will want to get up, right? <laughs> <laughs> and dance. And dance. Me. Exactly. <laughs> that make it all fun. See? Swirl it wrong. Design. No, I love coffee and chocolate. Who doesn't? Coffee and chocolate, good remedy. They're both um, top of the bean chain, right? They're two, two beans, chocolate beans and coffee beans. Can't go wrong. Mm. What I'll do, just pour a little more uh, of this Okay, see, top. that's why the, the measurement. 
Freeport. Freeport. <laughs> <laughs> See, something was missing, right? Wow. Okay. And a little more of this. Extra size to it. This spice rum is an excellent rum, man. It's good for uh, uh, pina coladas. You have a nice Caribbean. It has a uh, bunch of berries, uh, allspice, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. It's really high up there for cooking. You know, you make a rum cake. That's the rum you want to go and get. Very high in spice. Voila. There we have it. But what is it called? Um, <laughs> the mom's special, yeah, right? Mom's special. Mother's Coffee. Day chocolate picker upper. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee picker upper. You call it that. <laughs> I love that. So that's our first uh, thing that we have for today. And now we're going to shift up just a little bit. And what's next? Okay, we have Chef Ainsley coming in. All right. All right. Okay. Ainsley. Yes, and he's going to do one of his. Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning, good morning. Top class chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what you will be cooking up? Let's talk about that for a bit. All right, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a stuffed chicken with a conks, with a kong stuffings. Hmm. You said Kongs, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kongs stuff. The fusions. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what yeah. I like in your kitchen. You know, you have to go with mix and matches, which is excellent. That's I would have beautiful. never thought about a stuffing with Kongs. Uh, with Kongs. <laughs> that's what we do. We get the cre we drink that, and then we get the creative juices <laughs> gone. All right. <laughs> I don't want to know how much of that okay. you had. Okay. How many you had? Um, for the uh, <laughs> we went to the tester, right? We yeah. went for the tester. Only one, only one, only one. one. <laughs> one batch. All right. So let's see, Inslee, All when right. you talk about stuffing a, uh, a chicken with conk. Yeah, so this is the chicken. What uh -huh. I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the breast part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the breast part. So this is a... So it's stuffed chicken breast. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very easy, and if you want, if you don't want to do all this work, you can also buy the chicken breasts. already done. Yeah. The lone breast of the chicken. So we'll just do one for television purposes. That's correct. Now there's a lot of, and I'll ask the chefs very easily. Um, a lot of people who talking about removing the skin yeah do you take off the skin yeah or leave the skin? I, I take off the skin also because it's too much fat okay so what I'm gonna do here I'm butterflying the breast mm -hmm. so then I'm just gonna put the cong stuff in right in that and roll it okay I'm gonna take off the skin like what I said earlier mm -hmm. put right on the side Wait a little quick wash with some grease vinegar. Yeah, that's, a little water. Yes, sir. I got that. All right, good. So here's the chicken breast already butterfly open. So you can like the frying pan for me, please, chef. Definitely. Then um, I got some. I got a grease jerk seasoning, a little rub. Oh, you're gonna spice up a yeah, little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna do a nice rub on it. Mm -hmm. So this is, this already got flavor in it, so you do not need to add nothing much to it, and it's also, it's very spicy. Right. I use it a lot. It, uh, some recipe doesn't call for it, some recipe just call for spices, and that's what I go to. So you, you get one bottle of that, and you keep it in your fridge, and you could try it with every little, um, Different things, no? And again, you have options, right? That's yeah. the what? Which one you're using there? This is the grease jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a fiery, there's a hot. There's yeah, a, that's what I was mm -hmm. asking. Mm -hmm. Mild, and there, there's. If you see them, they're they're on the shelf. They're in a little square bottle now. Not square, but little shorter, stubbier bottles. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Uh, um. Then also, we're gonna add a grease complete seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Twist to it and a little touch. So, all the mothers out there, nice to try mm. on Sunday. <laughs> that that haven't started cooking yet, and I don't yeah. get that. I don't <laughs> get just that flavor, you know. Can you okay. add some definitely, cooking, please? 
Just to coat the frying pan, right, Chef? Yes, sir. So, look, William. <laughs> like a butterfly. Like a Belizean correct, butterfly, correct, right? Correct. correct. <laughs> Mariposa. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's one of the things that we've been talking about. Uh, when, how long do you have to wait for seasoning? Um, can you season and cook immediately? Yeah. The I do that sometime or sometime I do overnight, but this is okay because it's very thin, so it, it's not mm -hmm. gonna do a lot of marinating. Cause the breast is already flattened, so it's not a whole chicken or something like that. No, right. Okay. Mostly like a red meat. Yeah, yeah. Red meat. Uh, the process to break down the tissue inside the the meat it takes a a, a power pro, a longer process. One thing is this: you're gonna do a lot of sneezing because that jerk. All right, looking good there. So yeah, that's could, the chicken. Yeah, that's the chicken. Also something nice to try for Mother's Day. Okay, so next, we're gonna start off with that Kong stuffing. Got a nice Kong here already washed and clean. Not gonna do much. We're gonna cut that up in some, in some thin, 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 thin slices. Trips. Yeah. We could always pong it out too, right? Yeah. Beat the Kong out of it, right? Correct. <laughs> You wanna taste the cones. Mm -hmm. See, a, when it comes together, it has a nice flavor. Yeah. You, know, you got this. The cones is sweet. You got some sweet coming out, and the heat coming out the chicken, which the chicken is uh, is just plain mild. You know. Also, don't forget to. I'm I'm looking because this one I'm going to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the conk, you didn't do anything with it. It's still raw. Yeah. Raw form. Okay. Again, same thing, a little bit of the complete, complete seasoning. seasoning and a little bit of this jerk seasoning. So everything is a little bit spicy today. Now yeah, you had that coffee and then you're looking out for this coming up, right? Chef, can I go me to yeah, turn go this? Yeah, right ahead. Yeah, I can smell that jerk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. And this is an easy way, right, Chef? There's a there's a baking process yeah, you yeah. could go through for a longer and time. If, and if you but don't feel comfortable in it, you can also push it in the oven right. and finish up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've done that with uh, you know cooking. Brown it, yeah, brown it. And bake it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is looking mighty excellent, uh, Chef. What else will you add to the, the conch? The next, this next step with that, I'm gonna add some greased coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna use that same coconut oil, and I'm gonna add the kongs, some breadcrumbs, some bell peppers, some onions. Mm -hmm. Stuff it right back in the chicken. And you use the same. Yeah. So this is one frying pan. Yeah, dish. yeah, yeah. This is one frying pan. All the flavor is right in there. <laughs> See, guys, just one frying pan dish. Yeah. No, generally, um, when you're doing it. Which one is easier? Is just the frying of it or the baking of it? Well, I like it. I like to pan sear it, then finish it in the oven. Okay. Yeah. Get it a nice little crust. And how long does it take when you put it in the oven after you pan uh, sear? I would it? say like 10 to 15 minutes at 300 okay. degrees. Because it's already crusted outside. Yeah. So you want me to take this off for yeah, you or I'm do that real quick, please? Now we got the conch. Yeah, the conch. Nice aroma. Mm. Smell that, Will? I smell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not your least go friend, right? So we got the conch cooking yeah. already there. Mm. You have me here, though. Yes. The conch. Oh. Yep. And the bell peppers in color. That's mm -hmm. correct. My eyes are eating already. Yeah. <laughs> my ones are my ones are burning. <laughs> yeah. I make a little dab on the. The yeah. jerk season. <laughs> Goes in your eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I will tell Ethan at the cafe. Um, Ethan, just throw the caffeine in my eye, man. I, I could. <laughs> yeah, we come yeah. to you. Very easy and, and very nice. Yeah, so just gonna 
had a little bit of complete seasoning again mm -hmm. to stuff it. I noticed you went to the complete. Yeah. Remember now, Grace have the black pepper, and they have the um, salt, the ajo, they have uh, the maher, you know, they have, but the complete says it all, right? Yeah. Okay. That one tray of complete goes a long way in, uh, in every dishes. Can you pass me the chef, please? Definitely. All right. Now, let me ask a question because I noticed with the, with the um, stuffing, you're not really the conk. Mm -hmm. How thoroughly do you have to cook the conk? Conk is very, conk is very easy to cook and yeah. very fast because the more longer you cook it, they're going to get tough. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. So this is my stuffings. Just a little bit. Wow. Can you pause it, chef, please? Why? Wow. <laughs> I don't care who the rest of stuff is. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> joke. Ah. Get a skewer, you want the next stick? Yes. Poking in there? Mm -hmm. Yep. And there we have it. Just gonna give it another little. Can you, you add a little bit of oil for me again, okay. please? Just to finish it up again. Okay. I love this grace coconut yeah, oil, man. It's, it is grace coconut oil. Nice presentation. Well, I found out with it, the oil, it doesn't, you know, your frying pan is too hot. It um, just cools it down, but it doesn't burn as quick as the other oil. So after this is plate up time, mm -hmm. and there we go. Now what do you serve this with? That can go with anything. I, I would love to try that with some mash rye plantain or probably some mash yam. And also, Chef, we got a pesto that's going yeah, along with it. We right? have a pesto coming up from uh, Malafish. Let me start with that. So we could... Um, pesto just simply means... Yeah, um, it is. Pull it it. Turn it's turn it. ice, I think. Smell like I, I feel we touch it, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> it looked too good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very easy, man. <laughs> So with this also, you can again, like what I mentioned, you can finish it in the oven mm -hmm. for a next like 10 to 15 minutes and we'll go from there. Also, don't forget to check me out at Black Orchid Resort this Sunday. We're gonna have yep. a nice mm -hmm. Mother's Day brunch up that side. I mean, I look forward to see you guys there. We're gonna have a lovely brunch. We're gonna have a soft cold snapper. We're gonna also do that again with a stuff cook stuff with a Kong stuffings. Yeah. And I'm also gonna garnish that with some kalalo and some chaya. We got a brown rice, rice and beans. We got our organic steamed veg. So, Black Orchid Resort is the place to be this Sunday for Mother's Day, guys. Look forward to see you. That's right through the Boom Road. I'm coming. Okay. Yeah. We'll be yeah. there. I'm coming. <laughs> All right, let's go with this um, pesto. All right. Okay. So, yeah, can I lower it here for real? Let go right there. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, so it's a uh, good. Yeah. Just to get the one plate, your presenting plate. And I'm trying to not make it stick, but to make sure that it's, it's cooked, no? Yeah. Right. Okay, Rick. Let's go, guys. We're doing this. Yeah. Pesto simple means paste. Well, just a fancy Italian name for paste, pesto. And this pesto, what I'm doing is uh, I keep it local, mm -hmm. Grace, we're keeping it local. Um, cilantro, pepitos, makobe. And I have so, that in a long time. You, okay. so. have, I brought a bunch for you just to peel for me for this sauce, um, William, all right? So it's very simple, it's very simple, right? This is an eyeball too. The longer you keep your pesto, the more potent it gets, the more flavor comes out. But it's a vegetarian dish, you could use it in any anything. Ah. Pesto on bread, pesto in eggs, pesto on fish, you know. And there's there, there's several kinds out there. There's a bunch of pesto, you, you could just, you know, bring it together, okay? I'm gonna start with this uh, great coconut oil from Grace, okay? It's all healthy stuff in here this morning, okay? The cilantro. Who doesn't like cilantro? I love cilantro. Most of the pes pestos, like, it's called for uh, basil and, and parsley, Please. but you know, we, we, we could bear, but we could find with cilantro every morning, every, everywhere. But I'm still gonna up it a little bit with um, 
some fresh basil. No? I like the sweetness, the sweetness from the basil. It's already washed and clean. So you have two, two fresh herbs coming together. You smell that, man? This is excellent. This is good. All right. What make it pepitos pesto? All right. You want some nut. You could use, uh, it usually calls for pine nuts, which is very expensive here in Belize, or you could barely get it. I love pine it. nuts, though. It, it's very tasty. You could, use, uh, you could use cashew. You could you could make a cashew. Cashew is coming in season. You could use a cashew pesto, cashew cilantro pesto. Mm. All right? So I'm just going to use pepitos, makobe, makobe um, pesto. All right? Or um, I got some almond, little silvers of almond in there. Fine. You want that, you want that nuttiness. You want the nuttiness from the pesto, right? Um, some cheese, of course, William. We gotta do the mm -hmm. cheese. It's just a mixture of. Uh, you could use uh, Parmesan. You could use your Dutch cheese. You know. The other day I heard somebody ask for red back cheese, and I go like, "What the red back cheese?" <laughs> Never know that's what people call. Um, chef, you mind passing me some garlic there from the Malher uh, salve? All right, one is enough? One is perfect. Mm -hmm. Just making sure we would have baked this so it's on very low heat. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Until we're ready to plate. And uh, um, you have any more that complete over there, Chef? I'm gonna for the next one. Okay, some garlic, of course, garlic. You could use, Grace make it easier, they make everything easier for you. You know, what you do use, you fold up your leaf pack, you put it up in your fridge, you know. And um, the complete, again, there's um, colantro, there's a it's a colantro base. So again, you're getting a fresh herb in your pesto again, right? And that's it. All right, well, add a little bit more oil in there. You make this overnight, you let it sit. You know, you could mar you could grease your marinade your fish with it. You could marinate your chicken with it. You grill it. It is excellent. Put it on sandwiches. You know, you don't want that heavy mayonnaise. Bring down. You want a healthier version, guys. This is this is this is a um, new thing to go to now, right? And that's it. Very easy. Very easy and a healthy version, right? Good. All right, so you could plate up Inslee. Yes. Pesto. <laughs> Can you pass me that stuff in again, your chef, please? Definitely. All right, plate up time. So we're gonna serve the, chi the chicken right on a bit of stuffing now, so we ain't gonna waste. Oh man. And if you burn or anything, that's my fault. Man, yeah. actually. <laughs> if you burn, you're not done. Yeah. Just a little garnish with some peppers. And oh, man. pass it on to Chef so he can drizzle some of that nice. Here you go, William. You do the honors. Oh, <laughs> I love pesto, so. You know, um, and the color. Yeah, the color is excellent. It's like a fluorescent green. I know. I know. You know. You know. You know. Like you may have put a lead design. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You. Yeah. <laughs> I get you know. You know. We chefs, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, you know. May I use one of these? Something. something right? uh, sprinkle it. Yeah. But that's. Yeah, that looks. I drop on a little bit more. So it looks <laughs> like it's intentional. <laughs> Right. Yeah, because when you eat your cut piece and you dip up your sauce, you know. Yeah. Oh my god. I love this though. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto is good, guys. Get out there, make it, use it. Make it in batches. It's real good. Barbecue, anything, scramble egg and pesto. Perfect. Grilled chicken pesto pasta. Grilled chicken. He, he then makes this back at the cafe. People love it. Love it. All right, well, gentlemen, this has been a really, really um, eye-opening uh, experience. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you guys ever want to experiment, I have a kitchen, so just come on over. All you right. have to bring your own ingredients. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'll provide all the pots Pots and, and pans, pans and everything, and I, I have a dishwasher, so. Okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> Talking about bring, um, you have a kitchen, uh, the sweepstake is on. 
Oh, yeah. The shrimp steak is on, which you go and get one kitchen from Grace. Grace will give you one kitchen. Yeah. They will remodel your kitchen with um, Brothers Abed. They're going to give you six months groceries. You know, I think Smart is in there now. They're giving you a phone uh, and everything else. You know, it's um, you could get your, your coupons, your ticket at the store. All right. The drawing date is September 4th, so you have enough time to get one kitchen. All right. And, um... I think that's it. The new kid on the block. Grace has a new kid on the block, which is the uh, chicken Vienna sausage. Now this one is different. This has this come in its own chicken stock. Next one, I'm just water. Okay. But this one is a nice, like a chicken broth, right? Okay. Um, we'll be out at the um, the at the habit and habit on free, on free time barracode. Okay, something coming up there. So um, check us out and. The mom, mom's coming up, so um, get down, get your uh, Grace products. All right, you know everything is uh, easy with Grace. All right, and uh, don't forget our drink. The drink. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think Etienne had half of it, so <laughs> that's all that's left. It disappeared, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely, chefs, all thank right. you all thank for you joining too. me this morning. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Well, Any, love anybody you, you all? Yeah. I like to say happy Mother's Day to my mom in Punta Gorda and also... Your mom have a name? Rose Castro. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so again, look forward to see you guys at Black Orchid Resort this Sunday for our Mother's Day brunch. It is, you want to say? I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to my mother, Shelly Bradley. Love you. And I'll make all of that for you on Sunday, don't worry. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> all right. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we return, it will be for last minute ideas from the loft. Don't go anywhere. Open your eyes continues after this snack. Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. Top it up, top it up with Grace from here to catch up. Top it up, top it up with Grace from here to catch up. I like it on my hot dog burger and fries. Grace from here to catch up. It's a taste I cannot deny. Tomato ketchup, I like it up my fish and chips, on fried chicken strips. 